Hi, welcome to Now TV. Um, you know, I'm just gotta keep a daily up to keep, keep the videos coming, get those hits rolling in, and reach that 100,000 mark. Not much to say about today. It's pretty much the same as yesterday, except today is really hot. And, you know, if I could get to the beach, I'd go swimming. But that's a long walk from here, and it was not the walk, it's the fact that I need new shoes. Literally, my heels are starting to start to fall apart and talk to me when I'm walking. So I have to spare how often I go out wearing my sneakers, and all my sandals are falling apart because the straps are breaking. Cause that's the, you know, the life of the starving artist. You never know where your money's coming from, when you're going to get it, and how much it's going to be. Um, I won't play any songs because everybody, you know, if they go through my hundreds of videos, can eventually find most of the stuff rehearsed um, on here enough times so that it's not needed for me to play again. Um, and I really haven't had any time or the mood to, you know, uh, practice new stuff. Um, but I will down the road, like, share more lyrics of songs because I've, you know, got 20 years of the stuff. But um, I just wanted to say I'm too lazy to um, figure out how to, you know, um, clip my videos so when the sound goes wonky after five minutes, you know, I apologize because I don't feel like, you know, figuring out how to edit. That's what having an intern and, you know, other, other helpers to, you know, start up future productions is for. And I just haven't found the right people to um, run this company with or to work with me in um, setting this up. So I just sort of leave the videos the way they are. But the first five minutes of yesterday's video was pretty funny because I was kind of laughing about me and the chant uh, and the rants about the stuff. And it's true. It's good. So, you know, you can do that part. I'm sorry about the four minutes after that if it goes, uh, you know, like sounding like a, a guy's voice and, you know, like a goblin or a ghoul is taking over my computer. Because, you know, maybe there has been one that's taken over my computer. But I've got stuff all over Facebook on my timeline and, you know, if you want to know what's going on, follow me. You can find it. It's there. Um, you can also just ask. But um, I right now, I don't know. I, the reason I started this video today was because I had a strange question. I wanted to ask people. Here I am. No, 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 no shame in my um, state of wonderful um, academic artistic poverty. But has anybody ever used some like dish soap in their laundry to wash their clothes? I mean, what's the difference between the actual sunlight laundry soap and the sunlight dish soap? The concentration? I mean, if you have, you know, um, regular fabric softeners and you use the dish soap in an emergency situation for, you know, getting clean clothes, would it really matter, you think? Or even if you're hanging them outside on a nice day like today to, to dry off your stuff. Um, anyway, so that was my question of the day. My posing question was, has anybody ever been so, you know, um, be humbled, um, so, um, so um, desperate, hmm, um, you know, that you're like, well, what's the difference? I'm going to use this because I, you know, want clean clothes. Um, yeah, so I mean, i got like a week to go before, you know, the check comes in. And so I've got two loads to do. And, well, it's sunlight, right? So I'm thinking sunlight is sunlight and we'll see how it goes. It's an experiment. You know, everybody comes across experiments. This is my experiment, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. I just wanted to ask if anybody's thought about, you know, using alternative options of actual laundry soap to wash their clothes. If so, you know, send in your um, stories, write in your comments, tell me what you've used, if it wasn't sunlight, and um, what was it. And, you know, to give a, a list of suggestions for other people in case they ever get in a dire straight situation. So oh, I found that this works really well. And, you know, we can just you know, spread it around and, you know, and people can just, you know, experiment and say, well, I tried this one and it worked really well. Thanks. Now maybe, you know, somebody will try this one. And, whatever. you know, how else did you, you, you know, discover to use cucumbers to keep your eyes from wrinkling at night when you sleep with them on your um, eyes or, you know, other things like that. You know, the invention of, you know, you know, key lime pie. But I, yeah, I don't want to soap with nothing to do with fruit, but you get what I'm saying. Um, well, I mean fruit alternative sections, you know, that applies to, you know, lotions and other weird things we use it for and yet eat it at the same time. I never did understand avocados because you're not supposed to eat the whole avocado. Each layer of avocado is for something different, nutrition, nutrients-wise to our skin and stuff, and yet we eat it and it's disgusting. I think the only part of the avocado you're supposed to actually eat is the center, if I'm right, the yellow stuff. It's supposed to be for body stuff. Or is it the old stuff you eat and the green stuff's for the body stuff? Anyways, I don't know. Well, my time at five minutes are almost up. Gosh, you see, I'm stuttering. I don't like this being slow because, you know, I just don't know how long the videos are going to last when I upload them. But I'm going to let you go, guys. You know, thank you. That's my laundry comment. I'm going to go check my wash. And I'll come back and, you know, share um, a poem or a song later. Peace out. Um, thanks for watching. Keep coming back. I'm super